Hey everyone, it's Summer with Astaria Sen, and I am doing the hashtag 31 days of tarot 20 challenge from Ethany, and I will leave her website in the description below. If you have not already, please take the time to subscribe. Um, I do a lot of different things on my channel, which you can kind of look through if you want to, but for this, I'm doing um, the 31 days challenge in batches uh, because I don't want to post every single day. I've got a lot going on. So I'm going to do them about eight at a time and I'll try to keep the videos as short as humanly possible. So what goodies did I get for the holidays that's tarot related? Well, I didn't actually get any tarot related um, presents for Christmas or anything like that, but my birthday is this Sunday and I got to open one of my birthday presents early and it happened to be a tarot deck. My guy went out and got me the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot and I used it last night. It was fantastic. It's a very, very pretty deck. I plan on doing a walkthrough of it um, later. All right, so second question, top five decks, tarot decks of 2019. So I have them all ready for you. Shadowscapes is, of course, my number one favorite, and if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know Shadowscapes is my go-to deck. Next up, I really enjoyed Fairy Lights Tarot. Third is the Hidden Realms Tarot. Surprisingly enough, fourth came in with the Deviant Moon Tarot. And the last one is the um, Fantastical Creatures Tarot. Tarot. So that one comes in at number five. All right. Top five Oracle decks of 2019. And if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I have a lot of fairy ones. So these ones aren't in any particular order. I just put them in because I used all of them. This is the field guide to uh, Garden Dragons Oracle. That's really fun. Um, then I have the fairy blessing cards. And this is Lucy Cavendish. I have the Amy Brown Fairy Wisdom deck. The Paulina Cassidy Fairy Guidance Oracle. And the last one is from a local artist I know, um, Isabella and um, I'll link to her in the description because I don't think many people know about her, but she does the Make-A-Wish uh, Dandelion Spirit Oracle deck, and this is really great for like daily pulls and affirmations, and I've really enjoyed this deck. Um, I did do a walkthrough of it in a um, previous video, so I will put a little card up here to show you that. All right, number five. Oh no, number four. Five most used decks of 2019 is the Fairy Wisdom deck. I got that one back in like long, long time ago, more than five years ago. Um, it's the one I started with. Shadowscapes is my second because, well, the Fairy Wisdom came first. The Shadowscape was just my second favorite one to use. Then I've really enjoyed using the Fairy Blessings Oracle and um, Fairy Lights. I surprisingly got really intuitively involved with the Fairy Lights Tarot. And the Field Guide to Dragons is my fifth favorite for 2010 to 2019. All right, number five. What has using the tarot taught you from 2010 to 2019? Well, I've only been doing tarot for about a year. And I think that what I've gained the most from doing tarot is that it's creatively opened my mind to more possibilities, which I really, really enjoy. And it's also um, helped me reflect on myself and look past face value of anything that's going on in my world. So I can look deeper and a picture's worth a thousand words and I just remind myself that what would be my thousand words. So that's kind of what I got this year so far. Number six, what decks are you anticipating in 2020 and why? All right, this is fun. Now, um, I want the Hush Tarot, which is coming out from US Games in February, 2020. Well, at least according to the pre-order. And um, I just really like the artwork. I've seen a couple people go through it and I really think that the artwork is fantastic and I think it'll go really well with my Fae energy. Um, then 
Amy Brown is releasing a, another Oracle deck and it's actually called the um, Fairy Wisdom Oracle instead of the uh, Fairy Wisdom deck. So I think it's like a secondary to the Oracle one that I already have and I'm really excited by that. And it's also supposed to be re releasing in February 2020 from US Games. Um, then Deviant Moon is releasing an Oracle, the Deviant Moon Oracle. So I want to get that to go with my Deviant Moon Tarot deck. I'm really excited for that. Um, and I'm not sure when the release is. I think it's in 2020, but there really isn't a whole lot of information. So fingers crossed it's 2020. And last, and I will link as many of these as I can in the description for you. And last is the Witching Hour Oracle, which is an indie deck that I'm really looking forward to. I originally backed the Kickstarter and something happened to where that didn't go through. So she has it up on her Etsy shop, which I will link down below. And it's supposed to go out in shipment mid-January. So I'm really, really, really excited about that one. And the Witching Hour just has really beautiful artwork. The artist is really talented and it's very witchy and it's very, I like the purples in it. It's got a lot of color, like blacks and purples. And I really like that too. So I'll have fun with it, I'm pretty sure. All right, number seven, the tarot card that stalked me in 2019 and why. So here is the card that stalked me. It is the hanged man. He stalked me everywhere. And I think it's because um, 2019, I started moving into more pagan and energy based um, influences. My brain started thinking in ways that I hadn't thought of before. I started out messing with Wicca stuff and then I moved into just being eclectic pagan fairy and well not fairy Wicca but like I enjoy the fae energy not necessarily fairy Wicca. So um, I'm an eclectic fae pagan <laughs> so to speak but I started back at, at like January February of 2019 and the hanged man has just followed me ever since I got my first tarot deck my not the oracle but the tarot and the hanged man just always is always there and I think it's because my perspective needed to change in order for things to change so that's what I have for that and number eight what tarot books did you read in 2019 well, I only read one in 2019. It's this one right here. And I am still reading it. I didn't get very far. It's a lot of work and it, I know that it's worth it. So I'm just going to continue on with this one. It is 21 Ways to Read Your Tarot Card by Mary Greer. And I'm looking forward to more information on that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will get to everybody's 31 days as I can. And I will post my next batch next week another eight. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon.